Oh, yeah, man. Good to be roasting Mike Coven. Mike Coven's a good friend of mine. This is a real thing. One time I was doing a run of shows, and I had to use Mike Coven's bathroom to shower, and I looked down, and it was all pubes and no floor. <laughs> hey, Mike, uh, poop goes in the toilet. <laughs> Dude, I turned on his shower water. That shit was darker than him. <laughs> On the way down, it asked me for Newports and rent money. <laughs> I left it dirty for his ass because it looks like he uses racial slurs in the shower. <laughs> I said, fuck you. <laughs> Man, Matt's a religious dude. He uh, comes from a religious home, which means he, I'm assuming Catholic, he looks Catholic, right? And Matt's the type of dude that when he was getting the preacher eyes, <laughs> They were massaging his shoulders, and he stopped them. He said, nope, down here instead. <laughs> I'm Lutheran, bitch. <laughs> uh, I was just videotaping it. <laughs> Thought I get it. Oh, come on. Can a Lutheran make a buck in this town? <laughs> Do you guys hate Lutheran entrepreneurship in Wisconsin? You fucking freaks. All right, that was a great riff. I, uh... <laughs> Mike and I met doing the podcast called Off the Rails, which is appropriate because uh, I like trains and Mike looks like he takes it in the caboose. <laughs> that was a cute one, come on. I know you ain't talking about cabooses with that ass you got, you pog. I got a fat yeah, ass, I'm hot as hell, ass, okay? White boy. Hell yeah, dude, fucking zoom in, cameraman, fucking take it in. Get that, I think get that thing I can I do squats, real. fuck all you. Uh, Matt had a number one album. It's true. In comedy, on iTunes. Give it up for that. that that's a, that's a accomplishment. And this motherfucker still has yet to tell one good joke. <laughs> <laughs> I have the number one album in comedy. Mike Cubbin has the number one gap in his teeth in comedy. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing bigger than the gap between Mike's teeth is the time between his paid bookings. <laughs> Dude, I love the Joker shirt, dude. I love Heath Ledger. You remind me of Heath Ledger. Uh, after the show, you should kill yourself. <laughs> uh, it's still not as big a gap as your mom's pussy after squeezing that head full of hair through her vagina. <laughs> I was a C-section baby, come on. <laughs> Matt, uh, Matt, uh, he's a good dude. Oh, that's very kind, after what you just said. Uh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> kill you with some kindness here, but let's not lie to everybody here and say he doesn't look like fucking goddamn Harry Styles and a butch lesbian fucked each other and then that came out. <laughs> That's very funny. Yeah, that is what my parents look like. I, uh, <laughs> That's funny. Speaking of parents, I, uh, Mike is, this is a math joke, so Mike's not going to get it. I, uh, Mike is half black, which I never liked the term half black because three fifths times one is still three fifths. All right, I went too far. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, where you at, kid? Hey, 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 shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up. Like no, shut the fuck up, I got more, I got more. It's gonna get worse. I, uh, <laughs> it's okay, I'm just gonna fucking eat shit with this one. I don't care, I, I'll go down with it. It's okay, Mike's, uh, Mike's mom's black, his dad was white, which means he's black from the waist up. <laughs> If he takes off his hat, you can see his hairline's avoiding child support payments. <laughs> take it off, take it off. Bitch, told you so. <laughs> I know you ain't talking about hair, though. Your hair looks like it's trying to escape your face and jump onto my head because it knows that I'll treat it better. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great job. <laughs> hey, Matt here. Matt likes to tell his favorite toy that he grew up in his jokes about a tire, right? And I was confused. I was like, I thought your favorite toy growing up was a noose. <laughs> I should have killed myself. <laughs> That's a fun that, thing. Or because you're racist. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. My favorite toy growing up was a tire. I wish yours was a noose too. I, uh, this is a fun joke about Mike's life. Uh, Mike's baby mama is actually dating another comedian and his son actually is a great football player, which is good to know that everyone in Mike's life is getting smashed by larger, blacker men. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want the noose now or later? <laughs> well, we, we 
all know you ain't smashing nobody because your girl done fucked every g- guy in fucking the Chicago comedy scene. That uh, is true. <laughs> aside from you. So, speaking of which, uh, Matt here has herpes. <laughs> and I, I was confused by that because I'm like, I didn't know virgins can get herpes. And it made sense to me because I was like, oh, this girl fucked every comic in the comedy scene and then threw him a bone here and there. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. That's funny. Mike is dating a white woman now. That's nice. Thank you for destroying my neighborhood. That's <laughs> That was it. That was a show one. Yeah, one more joke. Yeah, one more joke. No, that was that was just that one joke. All right, all right, all right, all right, one more, one more. Two more. Two more. Two more. Our host two more. Chris, give me two more. I only got one. Give me two more. Oh, fucking maniac. Give me two. Dude, you know our fucking host went to Chicago public schools. This guy can't fucking count to seven. I can count to three fifths. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> ah, got your ass. Matt, Matt's so white. The only reason he wanted to roast me was so he can make himself feel better about what happened on the riverboat deck in Alabama. <laughs> Quick, gang, jump it! No. <laughs> No one's gonna swim across the water to help you now, boy. <laughs> That's a fucking good one. I love that one. Holy shit. Oh man. Mike's a Mike's a big Milwaukee Bucks fan. When they started chanting MKE got kicked out of the stadium because they thought they were asking for Mike Coben's erection. <laughs> okay, that one was bad. <laughs> Matt so white, when they came out with that song, that keep that in a fucking small town or wherever that bullshit is. He thought that was the new national anthem. Hell, he even jerks off while singing it. He's like, ah, oh, try that in a small town. All right. All right, now that's the roast. All right, that's right it. Now. Thank God. It's over. Keep it going for him, everybody. Keep it going. Shut the fuck up. Y'all do not mean that, all right? Oh, dude, I'm telling you, they really want the race war. All right, here we go. Holy shit, guys. I didn't know Kyle Rittenhouse was in the fucking club yeah. in the hot in the crowd in the Yes, you did. You know where all the clients are. Go back to Kenosha, are. you fucking idiot. Yeah. All right. Wow. All right. That was, uh, that was uh, pretty uncomfortable. Now, I want to start. That was fun, though. Give it up one more time for them. I want to, yeah. I do want it to be known. Uh, Mike, your, your partner dropped out like a few days ago, so this like, came up over the last two days, and they had to write all those jokes. So give it up for them. So thank you for doing it. Daryl, let's start with you. Uh, what did you think of this probably hate crime? I, I'm assuming uh, that they were chanting one or two more jokes because they didn't hear a lot of jokes on this roast battle. Uh, so, so if you guys had anything else to be funny, that would have been easier to make this, this vote. Um, I'm gonna go because I don't want to be... Um, I'm gonna go with Mike. Uh, <laughs> Because I didn't, I didn't want to vote another white guy. I'm going with Mike. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Moving on. Mike gets a vote out of white fear. Sasha. Oh, I have no white fear. Um, uh, I'm going to go full Jewish on you guys again. Um, the, the, the guy that Matt was referring to who was uh, dating Mike's... Uh, baby mama, they're engaged, and they're the same level of black. So do your fucking research, man. You know? All right, so just, I, I didn't appreciate that. Anyways, uh, Mike, you could have done better with uh, just the, the, the poop stuff? I don't know. But you had the best pop of the set with uh, that repartee about his hair care, so I gotta give it to Mike. Two for Mike, because Matt didn't do enough research on his black boyfriend's ba- ex-baby mama's whatevers. Kai. Yeah, I mean, yeah, go ahead. Kyron asked me if Mike was black. <laughs> this is coming from, like, if the Predator worked at Trader Joe's, okay? Like, come on, come on. I asked because this nigga looks like me in the future if everything went wrong, all right? Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to make sure. 
short. Uh, the notes on my phone just say autism, autism, homeless autism. Uh, I feel like we like, grabbed both of these men off the street and said, free alcohol if you do this show. Uh, that three-fifths line, me and you both got visibly angry at it, all right? Uh, so off of hope that I can repair future's past, I'm gonna vote for Mike. Okay, Mike wins. Give it up for Mike.